Hey everyone, how are you? Um, well, it's been a long. I have uploaded my last video, and uh, actually I was out about uh, ten days for a holiday. Uh, so just came back two days ago. So thought of making some videos. Anyways, uh, actually I didn't. Uh, I'm looking for some good games right now. Um, let's see when I get time. I'll surely do some review of it. Anyways, uh, I have seen some of you have asked me how to enable uh, Android virtual keys uh, down below, mm, just like uh, Nexus devices. And um, and some of you even asked me how to change the DPA and how I've made these icons look small and everything just like in Note 2. It's by changing the DPA. Anyways, uh, today in this video, I won't be showing any gaming videos, but I'll be showing you how you can uh, enable those Android virtual keys down below, just like Nexus 4 and Nexus devices. And uh, also, I'll be showing you how you can change your uh, screen DPA. Okay, uh, so this so this video uh, will be some little modding and nothing else. N I mean, no gaming. Okay, uh, so okay, first I'll be showing you how you can uh, enable the Android virtual keys okay so for that you need to be rooted and uh, after rooting you can uh, you need to install an app called root explorer so let me show you how you can do it uh, at first let me zoom in okay uh, so once you're rooted you need to install root explorer I've already installed root explorer now let, let me show you how you can do it anyways uh, this is actually I'm using actually I'm using uh, this ROM this is uh, what do you say Sa Sanogen mod 10.1 and uh, it's damn fast it's very fast actually uh, I'd like to um, I'd like to say that um, everyone who is interested in um, installing custom ROMs can try this ROM it's really very good I'm very happy with this ROM and uh, it's very fast I've never seen such a beautiful and such as awesome ROM till date on my Galaxy Grand it's just great anyways but the one thing uh, which annoys me is that uh, no FM radio is available till now and the rest of everything is works fine anyways uh, I made a separate video uh, of that you can check out anyways let me show you that how you can enable the virtual keys okay focus set menu root explorer just come down and uh, select you need to f just come down and uh, you need to select this folder system open it after that uh, you need to after that you need to press this rw button make it as r make it as ro after that uh, see there is a file called build.prop here just just press and hold and uh, once you press and hold it gives a lot of options from that you need to select this open in text editor so once you open in text editor a, a lot of uh, a lot of code will come over here just don't get scared uh, 
yeah, just don't get scared it's perfectly normal just come down and once you come down and uh, wait yeah you need to okay just select the last line and press enter once you press enter you will be on the next line means you uh, just select the last line and press enter then you will get to the next line okay in the next line you need to write something you need to write Cumu Q E M U Cumu dot H W dot M A I N K E Y S Cumu dot H W dot main keys then equal to zero all you need to write is cumul dot hw cumul dot hw dot main keys q e m u dot hw dot main keys equal to zero once you do that you need now press this menu key and uh, save changes okay after that you need to exit now you need to delete this file back okay select it and press okay let me tell you one thing you need to you need to delete this you need to delete this bak file build dot prop dot back you need to delete this back file not the original build prop okay delete I should want to delete it yes okay so just for verification let me just open it file and uh, just check it if it's updated or not yeah it's there it's the cumul okay now you need to restart you need to restart our uh, phone exit it okay for restart just normal reboot your phone reboot I think uh, if you do this correctly just step by step I if you do it correctly I'm sure you'll get those Android virtual keys without any issue okay so here we are uh, we are greeted with the lock screen anyways uh, so just unlock it and here we are as you can see we have the Android virtual keys the multitasking the home key the back key okay so um, the first part is over second uh, we need to okay second I will show you how we can change the DPI of the screen okay for that again we need to open root explorer and uh, actually root explorer is a very powerful app uh, with that you can do many things Okay, same thing we need to go to system again we need to press as RO oops RO and uh, open in text editor again okay now just now check carefully here 
we need to edit some code okay okay uh, just come down a little and here you can see a line R O dot S F dot L C D underscore density equal to 180 that's the screen DPI by default Samsung sets as 240 for Samsung Galaxy Grand but uh, I have uh, set it at 180 you can just change it to like 220 or 200 or 180 but don't go below as uh, but don't go below 160 as because uh, I guess the maximum you can uh, go below as 120 but or 150 I'm not sure but uh, if you do uh, I mean uh, if you go below 180 then the screen will be then then the letters and the screens and the icons will be very small and uh, even the uh, this what do you say um, status bar yeah so very small so it, it will be quite difficult for you to uh, just see and uh, navigate so okay so for changing we need to select this line okay oops okay guys uh, you need to be very careful you very very careful as because if you do something mistake over here then your phone might get into boot loop or something like that so you need to be very careful not to delete the upper line I accidentally deleted that D that V so you need to be very careful with that okay okay uh, let me sh okay now I have deleted the 120 and uh, let me write 200 okay now I have written 200 now we need to save it just save it okay uh, just verify just after just check if it's really 200 yeah it's 200 it's back and delete the BAK file okay we need to re reboot again that's it guys it's as you can see it's very simple to change the dpi by default it was 240 i have changed to 180 so that the text will look a little bit small and the icons will look a little small and uh, looks like a note 2 or note something like that but it, for me it looks good uh, you can uh, try it see now see my see now my phone is set to 200 so after change setting to 200 now you can see this this uh, status status bar icon looks quite big anyways uh, this is how to do it and uh, let's see if you can just try it and uh, if you have any problem 
just comment it down below i'll be happy to help you anyways guys see ya take care bye peace out